Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hope you're having a good morning. If uh, my voice sounds a little raspy, I think I may have uh, shot it a couple of days ago. I just came back from uh, Anime Weekend Atlanta this past weekend. Had a great time. It was, it was pretty low key. Didn't really announce it unless you're on my social media page. Uh, had a good time. Had to get away for a bit, but I'm back. Uh, it's the beginning of October, one of my favorite months of the year. Uh, but let's get the brass tacks here. Don't waste too much of your time. It's an update video. Don't want, you know, it's not that big of a deal. So first and foremost, the next video I have coming for the channel is, it's a pretty small sponsored video, and I can hear it now, sponsored, no, how, ah. But no, it is a pretty small video and shouldn't get in the way of the recoded video I should have follow a couple of days later, which goes without showing, like, even if it's a sponsored video, does it count to be added in the ginormous Kingdom Hearts subtitle you guys have been making since the Kingdom Hearts marathon started? Because I'm actually legitimately curious as to what the final subtitle will be for this ginormous Kingdom Hearts game we've made. Uh, when Dream Drop Distance adds. Uh, speaking of that, yeah, uh, the marathon will end after I cover Dream Drop Distance, the 3DS game, since it is pretty much the last mainline game before 3, and I know there's still uh, back cover the two, in part of the 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue thing, and uh, I think it's Unchained Key or something like the mobile phone game. Uh, I know that's technically a part of the series canon, but I think it'd be more appropriate to follow up on that when 3 is on the cusp of a release, which I know might be 3 or 4 years from now, 2018 release date notwithstanding, but I feel, uh, one, that you guys have gotten enough Kingdom Hearts already at this point, uh, even though there's like only two videos left, I want to wrap this up, I really don't want this marathon going past October. Uh, but speaking of October, there are a couple of games I really want to look at after uh, Kingdom Hearts wraps up. One is. Uh, uh, I want to look at Cuphead so badly, I have no idea, I want to play it right now, but I'm currently working on the sponsored video and recode it, so it's going to have to wait. I don't want to, you know, get my priorities keep more than they already are, but uh, of course, uh, Mario Odyssey also comes out at the end of the month, and I want to look at that follow up on my 3D Mario game review that I did a couple of years back, and uh, by the time that comes out, another review with that, Sonic Forces is going to be out, so I have to look at Sonic Forces, and if I have time for maybe one or two more individual reviews, I'll try and squeeze them in, uh, but the next major project after Kingdom Hearts uh, will be the second Donators Marathon. A lot of you have been asking uh, if it's going to be a thing. Yeah, it is going to be, and it's going to be right after uh, the Kingdom Hearts Marathon wraps up. As my next big project, because again, I want to look at the other videos like Cuphead, Mario Odyssey, Sonic Forces, all that. I want to look at those first before I jump into another uh, massive marathon, and uh, I'm uh, <laughs> the, this Donators Marathon, uh, given how much uh, you guys have uh, contributed to my channel since the last one, is looking to be crazier than the first one with how varied it just might be, because, you know, I, I, I leave it up to uh, basically randomness to choose what I'm looking at for that game, but that's kind of why I like it so much, because you just, you really never know what you're going to get. Now for this channel in particular, I got a couple of events that are like on the horizon. Uh, they're not here just yet, but I figure I mentioned to them now. Uh, one is uh, Ben and I's tentatively titled Mario Mania. It's our next Extra Life game day event, uh, where we, we, we raise money for Extra Life, uh, more specifically CHOP, the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. It's the one where we spend 24 hours racing each other in games, and uh, we decided that we are gonna give Mario some attention this time. It's only appropriate. We did Sonic, and we did the Pokemon, so it only makes sense that Mario is the next one. It makes sense to me anyway. Uh, so we got more information uh, coming up for that uh, pretty soon, so stay tuned for the announced video of that one, but figure you plant the seeds then and now. On November 18th, I will be appearing as a guest for the Sonic and Sega Fan Jam event happening in Savannah, Georgia at the uh, NBC Suites Hotel. I believe that's where it's located. Uh, it's only a one-day thing, sure, but uh, I've heard uh, some pretty cool things about that and got a lot of other guests could have been participating in that. I'll leave a link to the Eventbrite page in the description below if you want some more information on that one. So if you're in the Savannah, Georgia area uh, for that event, uh, come on by, stop on, I won't, I won't bite, I'll say hi, shake hands, share awkward stories with one each other. Yeah, yeah. And last but not least, I've noticed the main channel has become uh, strictly uh, Johnny Rogers videos for a little bit, you know, which is, which in some ways is fine because that's what is probably what you guys come here for the most. So uh, I appreciate that nonetheless. But I've been wanting to circumvent this with uh, more live streams for a bit of time now and uh, scheduling and working that around the other channels that I uh, help with, uh, SGB and BSC, have gotten in the way of that for a little bit, but uh, more of you have been asking, uh, you wanted to update on that at the very least. So what I want to do, uh, hopefully within the next week or so, is to start introducing more live streams. Besides, you know, like RPGs, I want to start freshing up the things with uh, like different 
<laughs> sort of things. And uh, I guess I won't really know how that works out until I start doing them. So what I had uh, tentatively planned out, and please let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Uh, what I wanted to start doing was like post uh, different live streams for different days, like maybe one on Monday, one on Wednesday, and one on Friday. Uh, maybe like you know two hours per day, so I don't like overwork myself because uh, like, again I got other channels to help with. Uh, but like on Mondays, I was thinking of starting a Kingdom Hearts level one proud mode run. Uh, the HD remixes, of course, because I did a test of that. Uh, I think about a month ago or two months ago. I'm not sure. And uh, I think you guys enjoyed it. I'm not sure. I, I was losing my mind, but you guys liked that anyway, so it's a win-win. Then on Wednesdays, I was thinking of. Uh, like a, a, I was beginning a 130 emblem run of Sonic Adventure, or whatever the max amount of emblems you can get in whatever Sonic Adventure. I'd probably be the original because I really could not give a shit about mission mode in DX, but uh, I guess we'll, we'll see how that works out. Now the only one that I'm really up and down with is the Final Fantasy 15 live stream because uh, the more that game goes on throughout the months, the more that gets updated with patch releases that either add more story or uh, add more clarity, which makes me feel like that what I was streaming previously was an incomplete game. And in a lot of ways, it kind of still is. And a part of me just doesn't want to keep doing that until everything for 15 gets released at some point, because I think that game is still on the brink of getting like a major story patch. Uh, I have to look into it, or if you guys can clarify in the comments below, I appreciate that. But uh, a part of me wants to just put that stream on hold until it gets finished because I, I again, I don't want to play the game and then realize, oh shit, wait a minute, I, I didn't play it the way the game was developed for, or I'm missing something major here because uh, I streamed the day before, I got a major story patch, and now what I just played is nothing like how it is now, and that that really bothers me. It's a real, it's a real downfall I have a 15 in general, despite uh, I think the game is fundamentally solid, it's just... It's still in pieces in a lot of ways, and uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of a stickler for that sort of thing. I don't like, I don't like streaming incomplete games. No. So I'll leave it up to you guys to decide the fate of Final Fantasy 15. Do I continue on as is, or do I wait for it to get all the stamp patches and then finally pick up the stream afterwards and in the meantime replace it with something else you guys like another rpg i'm not sure maybe another final fantasy or maybe another rpg from a different series altogether i don't know whatever you guys want to see just please let me know i it's like three o'clock in the morning why <laughs> Anywho, I think that's the wrap for this video. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. It's much appreciated. And uh, I know this is a bit preemptive on me, but I just want to thank you guys. Uh, this channel is awfully close to breaking 300,000 subscribers, which, which is just absolutely incredible. And when I actually break that threshold, uh, be it a couple weeks from now, maybe a month from now, uh, I'll be sure to make a thank you video where I'm just bleeding my heart all over your face, necks and chins. And I'll go on and on about that. And of course, I gotta have something to commemorate the occasion. Maybe a special video. I I don't know what that would be yet, but it's gotta be something. It's gotta be something spectacular, something grand, something big that will ultimately disappoint you in the end. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, uh, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you all for uh, tuning in uh, throughout the last couple of months. If you've been here since the beginning. You just tuned in for subscribing. Thanks, I appreciate it. And. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys next with the uh, the sponsor video I have in planned, and then with Kingdom Hearts Recoded for the DS, and finally Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance for the Nintendo 3DS. That said, thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic night, uh, no, fantastic morning, and take care.